Hey, hello, hello, hello. My name is Rograt. Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are here with Sid in our brand new home. We found this little uh, LM Elmo shelter, I'm assuming is how it's pronounced. Super close to the mall. And what I've just been doing is I've been setting up zones here and I've been going back to our, uh, our motorcycle, the hog. And as you can see, I have food and drink zones here and back over here in this storeroom I have a bunch of other zones including ammo, guns, armor, clothing, everything so now we'll, everything gets put away uh, pretty much automatically all I have to do and there may be a better way of doing this but this is the way that I'm doing it so far is I just drop everything on the floor that I want to put away for example all of this food and drink I drop this here and I press capital O and then I press O as you can see everything gets put put away all food goes here for now all drink goes here for now which means we get to keep a nice clean inventory at all times speaking of inventory I'm gonna grab my duffel bag which should be up here yep there it is I'm going to take off the uh, the bag that we've been using, which is, let me see if I can find it, the Molly Assault Pack. I actually think this is smaller than our duffel bag, but let's double check real quick. There's the Molly Assault Pack and the dry duffel bag. So, let's see. Yeah, I think this is way bigger. Total capacity 64 as opposed to 40. This does have some uh, little mods on it. It has a uh, hydration pack and all of that stuff, but I I want the I want the duffel bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Firstly, we need to unload it unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to unload the assault pack and I'm going to drop it right here and we're going to wear the dry duffel bag and we press O, O and that will go away. Okay, so we're going to make a break for the mall, which means we're going to need some supplies. So let's grab... What do we want? We're gonna want uh we're gonna want the Glock. I will take the M4 with me as well. As well as uh, a bunch of this ammo for the Glock. And a backup mag. We also have these uh Stanag rounds here, Stanag mags. And then we'll take we should probably think about taking some aspirin and let's take uh, 10 bandages maybe and we'll take some of this antiseptic all of this other stuff I think we can leave I will grab the crowbar and I'll take a hammer in case we need uh, to hammer anything and then we'll grab a light battery because we're going to be using our headlamp quite a bit I'm assuming we'll find a lot more batteries though and I think that's pretty much all we're going to need so there we go and I think we can actually wear the carbine and let's just check if our Glock Yes, it's in our holster. Good stuff. So, as you can see, we're still kind of dinged up. We haven't really rested since uh, last time, where we got pretty savagely beaten up by a group of zombies. It was um, it was quite embarrassing. So, I think this time, 
I'm going to try my best to take it slow. We know that there somewhere around here is a wasp hive because we've seen uh, a bunch of uh, wasp guards. I think we may want to approach and enter through this uh, food court. So why don't we try and do that and um, hopefully this time we won't get absolutely wrecked by uh what were they they were runner zombies and there was another type i also saw a bunch of really mysterious looking smoke i don't know where that was coming from and i am too scared to ask so here we go i think we'll head along the tree line and then we'll try and get in you see, there's the loading bay here, which look to be locked. So I'm, I'm hoping that if we go to this uh, food court, we may be able to either find a door or scale up um, and get onto the roof. Either way, I do have a feeling that approaching this whilst I'm still damaged is maybe not the best idea in the world. Uh, you can see our head is... Only at 66, which is pretty low. I think 88 is the uh, is the max for us at the moment. Okay, we, we're stepping back to where we were before. This is, what, the garden center? Yeah, these are all seeds here. And the mall starts right here. So this is where we got destroyed there's a little uh where is it yeah this building here so we know there's going to be spooky stuff around here let's just take it slow and i, I kind of want to just see how we'll do one on one right now against uh just a regular zombie would be would be fine where is everybody that's not a good sign there's also a bobcat Alright, well, if it comes near me, it's going to have a bad day. That's all I'll say. Okay, we see an oversized wasp. Which has absolutely destroyed all of these zombies over here. That's both terrifying and I'm pretty grateful. Because uh, it saved me a lot of work. But I, if we have to fight this thing, I, I don't know what I'll do. Because those things mess you up so quickly. Can we see the uh, the wasp nest at all? I can't see anything just yet. It says the the wasp is fleeing. I don't know if that's because it's quite quite badly injured. Anyway, let's zoom in. Let's get sneaking a little. Okay, we found a crawling zombie in this house. That's absolutely fine. And a zombie dog. Up here. Cool. Alright, get indoors. Right here, I'm just going to drop the uh, the duffel. I'll probably turn off my atomic reading light, even though I think it literally will never run out. Let's uh, deal with this crawling zombie. Hello. What is my encumbrance right now? It's only 22. Okay. He's got a stun gun. What do we have here? A carving knife, huh? Alright. I just came in here because I wanted to sort of peek my head downstairs. Okay, that Wasp guard apparently is very close by. I don't know why I can't see it all of a sudden. I think because it may be on the roof. Yeah, I can see a shadow here. Look, I think this thing is uh, up on a roof. Let me activate my headlamp. And then down we go. Okay, we've got a couple zombies. Just chilling. 
Let's let them uh, approach. And then I want to know, are you, are you able to come upstairs? No, the zombies cannot come upstairs. It's interesting because if we stay here, we can see them down the stairs, but I don't think we can attack downwards. Oh! Oh! Maybe they can come upstairs. They definitely just hit me. No. Okay. We took a little damage there, but nothing too severe. The reason I want to clear this out is so I have a place to run to if, um, if things get a bit spicy. Okay, we've got another construction room here. This is great. Alright, nice. Uh, we got a hip flask with some brandy. Somebody said you can you can use these memory cards in your phone, I think. Which I don't think I brought with me, but we'll take them with us. Get pulped. Benson trail guide. Nice. We'll grab that. We'll activate it. Okay, we've added trails and trailheads onto our map. Bunch more. That's pretty useful. We're, we're discovering a huge part of this. I still really... I don't know if we'll live this long, but if we do, I want to go down to Cromwell because that place looks even bigger than Benson. Assuming there's going to be water in here. Yeah, a hundred clean water. Do we have anything to dispense this into? No. I'll just have a little sip. Okay. It's a pair of roller skates here. All kinds of good stuff. Um, this is a table saw. A planer. I'm still looking for a um, a generator. A bandsaw. I would have assumed there'd be a generator in here, but there isn't. Okay, looks like the headlamp's about to run out. Let's head back up. So, I don't really see a way for us. Oh, no. Okay, she's right there. She she doesn't know about us? Look at that thing. No thank you. Alright, well, wasp queen is up there. I can only assume then that the, uh, the wasp nest is in this direction. Which means we will be swiftly turning around and heading this way. And hoping that we don't have to in deal with any of this nonsense. I'm starting to think really we should have rested. I could have done it, but okay, these guys are pretty dinged up. I I'm thinking like if they do come for us, I'm gonna switch out to the uh, the M4 and just go, just absolutely unleash. This one's hostile. This one's fleeing. But neither of them can see us. I think they have pretty poor vision. Thank God. Just going to keep checking them though because... They're freaking me out. Big time. Okay, this, this one is fairly close. There's a couple zombies down here. I would much rather deal with these guys. Let me tell you. Zombie and a zombie shield. Alright, um... Let me wait for the regular zombie to come here. Let's drop the, uh, the duffel. Get bashed once. Hey, there we go, look. Our theoretical understanding of melee is increased to three, as well as our practical skill. Meaning, we now may have access to, if we're lucky, a new technique. 
We already have Brutal Strike. Okay, so this doesn't have anything useful for level 3 melee. I do remember the bow staff did have something. Either way, that's that's better for us. That's great. Always great news. We can now fake a strike, apparently. I don't think I've seen that before. Alright, so we do have some guys directly south. Pretty far south, though. I actually don't really care about those guys. Alright, so here is the side of the mall. How the heck do we get in? There's a couple doors here. I'm assuming these are going to be extremely locked. This is a loading bay. I would love to go this way, but I don't... How close is the wasp guard? I think we might just go for it. Okay. Tell you what. Let's get sneaky. And hope for the best. Whoa, what's happening? The zombie cop is fighting... Oh, there's a futile fighter. Okay, they're ganging up on a guy over here. It's not looking good for that guy. We are doing this in broad daylight as well, which is quite funny. I don't think any of those guys see me yet. No. So if I just hug this wall... Locked. Locked. Can I cr can I crowbar these open? No, it says you can't get sufficient leverage. I'm assuming that means that it will never work, right? Rather than it's a chance-based thing. Uh, also, doorway here. But I know for a fact these are going to be locked, but I guess I'll try them regardless. Just don't want to mess with these wasps. Yeah, very locked. And uh, we could build some lockpicks. This one is extremely hostile. This guy's fleeing still. What do we have around the corner from here? Utilities. You see, the entrance is just around the corner. It's going to literally be like up here. We're so close. I'm just looking at my map because um I don't want to I don't want to mess with any wasps. Let me peek. Look how many zombies this thing has killed, dude. That's actually cracked. I'm going to peek this. Have a look what's up here. Another wasp. I'm seeing nothing in terms of entryway. Uh, until we get to... Do we really want to risk going up to this corner? I mean, we can always run. Okay, that's a lot of wasps. This... Oh, shit. Okay, there's a guy right here, which I didn't even notice. Is he coming for me? Okay, I don't think he can see me beyond that point. I could try and... I could try and pop him from a distance with my M4. But I don't want to draw attention. It does have a it does have a silencer on it. But this guy's not good. Yeah, look at that. He's not going to be easy to hit. Nah. Yeah, we're not going to hit this guy. Let's be real. Thing is, if it hits me once, I know for a fact it's going to sting me and cause some messed up stuff to happen. And uh, it ain't worth it. And if I can try and just, like, pull them. Okay, he has lost sight of me, it looks like. Okay, a group of zombies are heading this way. You can't see it. I'm, I can see it on my map. Alright, this guy sees me. 
I'm hoping they'll run into the wasp. And they can uh, they can mess each other up. So let's get back to walking here and sneaking through here and hopefully avoiding everything. We can see one zombie. Okay, we need to move in to the forest a little more here. Maybe we should go and uh, go and rest up back home, like have a little sleep and then come back. Didn't really want to do that. I wanted to get straight to it, but uh, don't quite know how to deal with the zombie wasps. Zombie wasps? Oh God, no! I mean just regular wasps. Okay. Let's uh, let's activate our atomic nightlight here, and let's wield our. Barbed white bat again. And we can wear the M4. Alright, cool. So. Let's go have a quick nap. Quick power nap. If we can. And then we'll, um... Just like, maybe four hours, if we can. Even if we don't manage to sleep, like... We are resting, and our stats are increasing. Pain is almost gone. Head is still really bashed up, though. Okay. So we didn't sleep. We didn't manage to sleep. Um, we are still kind of rough looking here. I want to get some, uh, let's view our medical here. How do we look at our medical without going through this way? I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, things aren't looking great. We're damp as well, apparently. I think I'm going to try one more time to just have a nap. It's uh, it's 2 p.m. right now. So again, let's try for three hours this time. We're not tired, so that's probably why we're not sleeping. But we are healing. There we go. Okay, well, we're looking a lot better, that's for sure. Our strength is uh, still a little low. We are crawling, apparently. Here we go. Let's go eat, because we're hungry. And then let's get back out there and just see if anything's changed. Oh, we absolutely, by the way, need to go and pick up our phone. Because uh, that's how we're tracking our calories, and I want to I want to keep an eye on those. Uh, let's see. Smartphone. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Let's go and eat, and then get back out and just see if those wasps uh, and zombies fought each other at all. We're just gonna make. Uh, do we have enough light here to actually make a sandwich? PB&J sandwich, which we can't eat because we have an allergy. Yeah, we can't eat jam. Vegetable sandwich, that sounds awful. Let's make a PB&M. We use the peanut butter spread. We can make it. Okay, huge. Let's eat that. Delicious. Alright. Let's get back out there. What do you think, guys? Place your bets now. Is it going to be safe, or is it going to be exactly the same?
What are those pits called? Are they called Punji? Pits? Punji spikes? I can't remember. Okay. So. We got a bunch of wasps, a bunch of zombies. Generally not a great situation. We're, we're a little damp. That's okay. Our focus is super high. And we have free melee now. I actually should have looked at our melee weapons to see what bonuses we would have gotten. Okay, we keep moving this way. Till we see something. Alright, we're back at the end of this cul-de-sac here. We just peek out. We can see there's an oversized wasp guard back down there. He seems to have healed a little bit. I'm not seeing any sign of that big group of zombies that we pulled. Unless these are all fresh, but I don't think they are. I think going north is not the way to do it. I think we're going to have to head along the... Like, the southern side of the mall to get in. I think that's the only way we can do it. Okay, that feral human there is alive. Barely. They're actually bleeding. They're probably going to bleed out. Which is excellent. I'm going to keep checking that this wasp isn't too close. So far, so good. Okay, there's a wasp very, very close. It doesn't seem to be interested in fighting. Okay. Okay, so a bunch of those zombies are still there. However, they're all regular zombies, so I think this is the way to do it. So I'm going to drop my duffel right here. Um, and I'm probably going to drop my M4 as well. Just to get the best uh, chance of taking these guys out without any kind of issue. I'll let them come to me. How many of them see me right now? Just three. That's fine. They are moving this way slowly. Ah, they're going for the zomb- they're going for the wasp. Okay, let's- Let me just come back here. Let me pop a squat and just see- See what's happening. Ah! <gasps> oh, somebody opened the door. It it must have been a, f a feral human inside. Okay, that's incredible. I mean, it's rough in the sense that... Yeah, okay, they're fighting. It's rough in the sense that... Uh, if, there's, if the wasp goes in there, we'll have no choice. Okay, so that's fighting those guys. Looks like there's a zombie coming from behind here. This must have been one that followed me into the the bushes earlier. Get absolutely gunked. Alright. These two zombies are about to perish. That one's fighting. That one's fighting. That one's... These are all so close to that entryway, it's really frustrating. I think our only choice... Yeah, there's a bunch of runners and stuff over here, but I think they're going to go for the zombie wasp... Uh, for the wasp, sorry, before they come for us. I can only hope that the zombies win, ultimately. I think they just killed one. They just killed the, the wasp up here, no? No, it's still alive. It just disappeared off my map because it moved. Actually, they may have done it. They may have killed it. No, it's still alive. <laughs> Damn it, dude. 
Okay, those guys are tough. If you have any tips on how to deal with uh, wasps in Cataclysm, please let me know. I'm going to kind of keep moving. I haven't forgotten where our gun and our duffel is. Alright, that's a lot of dudes. I'm kind of tempted, honestly, to run over. Um, to run this way. Grab whatever's hanging around. And then run back past the wasps. So that they can do their thing. Because, I mean, look at this. This this guy's annihilating all of these. I think this guy's just really hard to hit. And I, I personally have no idea on how I would even begin to deal with that. Yeah, like these guys see me, but they're... This wasp here is actually doing a great job because it's holding back anything that's coming from this direction. This one here, though, is a problem because they're guarding the door. Short of using my grenade, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the wasp. I don't want to waste a grenade just on a wasp. Seems a bit stupid. I'm going to wait here for a, mi for a while. Let's um, zoom out and just see what... Okay, a, uh, a zombie just died. Okay, that wasp up there is now engaged with that zombie. Do we use this as a opportunity to run indoors? Might not be a bad call, honestly. Like, let me wear my carbine and my duffel. If we sprint right now... This guy's about to die, though, and then this guy will come for us. Let's just see. If I if I get sneaky with it... Okay, there we go. That wasp is now free. This one here. This wasp is very much tied up. Okay, I think we can do it. We're finally about to enter the mall. Okay, that guy died on the doorway, which is unfortunate. Here's what I want to do. Um, I think... Let's just firstly check what this guy has on him. Sleeping pills. Yeah, they have nothing. If I can just move his corpse without getting absolutely dinged. Alright, we're in, baby. Let me reload my, uh, headlamp. Okay, we're in, we're in. Oh! Let's just take this slow here. I'm going to do a lot of peeking. Okay, we've got two zombies here. Also, uh, what looks to be a backpack, travel pack. All right, let me uh, let me drop my duffel. And we're using a headlamp here, so there's no point walking. Uh, no point crouching. Okay, let's let the other two zombies come down. We're going to do this piecemeal. Hey! Bashing has just hit level 4, apparently. We got a new achievement. 
Awesome. Yeah, let's see. Um, practical skill in bashing has increased to four. Theoretical has increased, increased to four. It's because our focus is high. Um... Practical skill in cutting weapons has hit one as well because we've got the nail bat, which has a little bit of cut damage. Uh, what does that actually do? Like, increasing your melee means that you're you hit more often, right? Uh, so, yeah, accuracy and effectiveness. Uh, let's see, skill increases the damage, and higher levels will improve the accuracy. Okay, huge. This is all great. Lobbered. All right. So far, so good. Let's uh, let's see what these guys had on them, if anything. Wine making for this guy actually had a molly pack. Interesting. Some aspirin there. Other than that, not much else. So let's just smash these guys. And really hope that nobody follows us in. Now that that door is open. I am going to grab the, uh, the aspirin. And then what we'll probably do is like drop our bag before we go through a new doorway. Just to ensure... That once we step around the corner, there's nothing waiting for us. Right, what do we have here? We've got a travel pack. We've got some peanut butter candy. We've got some tortilla chips. Okay, so we've got lots of food. We've got a hiking backpack. Which I think is not as effective as ours, right? Let's see, what's the... Uh, total, vo total volume is 81. Oh no, okay, that's way better than ours. Alright, well let's get that then. Let me just compare them to double check. Oh, here comes a zombie. Come here, bud. Nice. We're hitting some big damage here. Alright, so I want to compare the hiking backpack and the duffel bag. This is the hiking backpack on the left. Total capacity 81, total capacity 64. Okay, that's that's incredible. Alright, so let's um let's unload the duffel real quick. I don't think there's much in there. Actually, I, is there anything in this duffel? No, it's empty. Yeah, it's completely empty. Alright, cool. In which case, then, let's wear the hiking backpack. Nice. Okay, something is definitely <laughs> around the corner there. Okay, where were those peanut butter candies? I want to grab a little bit of food since we're in here, since I plan on uh, maybe making a... Oh, pork sticks. Plan on making a vehicle next is our next kind of goal. There we go. I want to grab everything. We're no longer in pain. Okay, let's peek here. Okay, see nothing. Out of curiosity, if I turn my headlamp off, how much can I see? I can only see within a few tiles, which could be pretty dangerous, but... Where do we see a zombie? I think this guy is, like, above us. Okay, we can see a second zombie now. Oh, these are, that's a skylight. Okay, got it. Makes sense. A 
something just heard me for sure. Yep. Drop the bag. I think, uh, honestly, putting our headlamp on is, is a better shout for the time being. Uh, where is my bag? I, I should favorite it before I uh, do anything else. Uh, hiking backpack. Here we go. <clears throat> favorite. And we will... We'll set it as H. Capital H. Okay, there we go. So let's drop that. Wait for this guy to mosey on over. Where'd you go? There you are. Get absolutely smashed. Where's the other zombie? Oh, dude, they're miles away. Don't even worry about it. I got my crack pipe. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we know there's a bunch of zombies over in this. I'm guessing this is like the main like uh, entryway, the foyer kind of place. What do we got here? Meat jerky and some cake. Oh, the cake's all the way over there. Damn it. I was excited to fill my bag full of cake. Alright, let's see how close we can get up here without these guys noticing me. Got a zombie medic there. You know, honestly, I think we have the advantage here because of our night vision. Obviously, the zombies can kind of smell us. You're going to think I'm crazy for doing that, but um, if I can just pull them one by one. I mean, it's a lot of zombies to take out, don't get me wrong. But I don't know what we're going to find. We could find some really great stuff in this mall if we're lucky. Okay, there's another. Come this way, my friend. There we go. Okay, a bad by bat just took a little bit of damage, which is unfortunate. We do have the aluminium bat, don't forget. In fact, let's check recipes real quick. Uh, okay, there's like the nail bat and the barbed wire bat, right? Can we use aluminium bats for this? No, it looks like we just need a regular baseball bat. I think there's a way to check with um, there's one here that uses certain ingredients uh, where is it name name quality description component okay so if we put C alumin, al aluminum you call it in America right aluminum okay blunderbuss shot oil lamp Arrows. Okay, yeah, I think the aluminium bat uh, can't be used for anything. Look at us go, though, by the way. Absolutely smashing these zombies right now. Hello, you? Come here, please. There we go. Good, good, good. Great stuff. Alright, so we can see... What do we have over here? We've got a deranged axe man. That does scare me, considerably. Is that guy back outside of the mall? I think he might be. I think this could be... 
Yeah, this is the main entrance over here, so there's really no reason for us to go that far in. Okay, stairway up. Let's just, like, secure... We don't make any any sound when we smash, by the way. So that's, uh, that's nice. Let's just destroy these corpses before we move. And I'll probably check up the ups check out the upstairs, because I think I'll feel safer. Upstairs. Because I don't think zombies enjoy coming upstairs, so... Okay, that guy's got a bunch of... Where did I drop my hiking backpack? Oh, I remember. Let me go grab that real quick. So let me just check that this corridor is uh, is safe. Okay, I can still hear <laughs> people fighting outside. I think that's the wasp. Alright, put this on. And let's get looting. A bunch of, what are these, like arcade machines? Yeah. Damn, I wonder if we can play these. What we have here? Movie posters. Cool. Okay, so we can clearly see a lot of zombies. My guy's freaking out a little bit right now, but... They're all relatively far away. Another feral human there as well. Alright. Let's just quickly grab... Uh, what do we have here? Some bird shot. And a shot shell revolver. Let's take a look at this. The stainless steel five shot revolver. Okay. I mean, there's no reason to not take that, huh? Also grab the MREs, as always. And the first aid. A folding solar panel. Now that looks like it could be useful. The little solar panel folds up to carry around. Okay, so it's not the best at charging, but I'm assuming that we can use it to charge stuff that uh, we normally... Yeah, we can use it uh, on an appliance. I think that's a good find. It's pretty big, 7 litres and 5 kilos. Honestly, I've got enough... Uh, I've got enough thingy-majiggies. Anything else here? No, just that. I wish there was a way- is there a way to automatically take items out of, uh, containers when you loot them? For example, if I wanted to grab, like, those cotton balls out of the bag immediately. Is this useful? I haven't seen this yet. A blood drawing kit. Like those peanut butter candies. If I wanted to just take them into my inventory without um, taking the bag that they're in, is there a way to do that? Okay, so we're sort of safe at the moment. Let's just move along here. We still aren't seen by anything. And let's go upstairs and just see. Let's just poke our head up. Okay, there's another zombie there. Are we seeing anything else? Not really. Pick me up one more. Okay, this is like the storage area. I'm going to do something really stupid here, which is turn on my headlamp. Okay, only one zombie. Ready, go. Okay. 
Okay, so we found like uh, a storage. Curry, ravioli. Oh man, this is huge. Let's put the uh, the backpack back on. Let's start grabbing some uh, some loot here. The cooking oil is important, but there's plenty of that elsewhere. Bow tie. Yada yada yada. Okay. What do we have here? Canned salmon. Raw paschetti. An eggplant. This is great. What do we have here? Graham crackers. Which I think are... Hold on. If I unload the graham cracker box. They go into our inventory. And... Yeah, let me know if there's like a, a, a setting that lets me auto unload. Stuff like that. That would be great to know. Raw paschetti. I'll grab that. Let's open this. Popular mechanics. We'll grab that. Powdered gelatin could be useful. We want to do some cooking down the road. All right, it's all it's all coming together, boys. Cat food. Well, maybe we'll get a cat. If we end up eating that, then um, we know things have gotten really bad. The descent. Oh, that's the name of my current Caves of Cards series. We've come full circle. Peanut butter spread. All right, we are we have. Probably too much peanut butter, arguably. If I open this door, am I going to regret it? Yep, I can see an oversized wasp. Okay, he's outside. Okay, this is the roof, for real. I'm hoping the wasp guard can't come up this high. Okay, there's a forklift. Let's turn off our headlamp just a moment. That's pretty cool. Utility vest. Yeah, he's just down there chilling. We can see he's... They've done a great job taking out the uh, the zombies. What do we see on the roof here? We can use this to peer downwards, I'm assuming. We can also use it to fall to our death. The zombie fell down a ledge. Haha. <laughs> yeah, so these zombies are, b are below. So I don't want to get too close because I don't know if these guys can, like, come up. But I think if there are any on the floor just below us, they're going to fall down. Which is going to do a lot of damage. Is there anything else up here? Couple zombies over that way. That one just fell through a skylight, it looks like. I'm assuming this... Yeah, this is a skylight. It just... I don't know if you saw that. It just fell straight through, which is really, really funny. These zombies... Seem to be... Okay, a feral human just fell down. This is good. The more dinged up everybody gets, the easier it becomes for me. I'm going to explore this roof, first and foremost. Let's try and get these zombies to walk over the skylight. Yep, that one fell through. Idiot. At least I know now not to walk on one. Uh, this one is about to fall through the skylight, I think. Let's watch. Uh, see you, idiot. Alright, cool, cool, cool. What do you have up here? A zombie technician. Bunch of decayed zombies. Alright, nothing too spooky. I'm going to go back to walking. And then I'm going to get to bashing. Oh, a feral human. With a... It says they're wielding a crowbar. It looks like a bow to me, but... No, that's absolutely a crowbar. Let's see if they fall through the skylight. <laughs> uh, he may be a human still, but he's not the smartest. I almost feel bad for him. I wonder if that killed them. We should probably peek it. Nice, we hit that guy in the leg. Stunned. Absolutely destroyed. 
Beautiful stuff. We are absolutely smashing it. Pun intended. Let's just take out these other ones before we... Uh, we can just say that the roof is clear. We know that we always have a place to run to. Should we need it? Deranged Axeman is down there and outside. I don't know if that guy has a way to get to me. I honestly would love to have an axe. I know it's going to be a cutting weapon. There's a crow egg there. I'm not going to be eating that anytime soon. Alright, let's go grab our bag. Yeah, I want to know if that uh, human that just fell down is... What kind of shape they're in. You would think they would be pretty dinged up. So these guys all see us, but they're like way down. Let's try and get an angle on the human. Feral human we can see right now. He's okay. I don't know if that's the same feral human. Anyway, I'm still scared, even looking through the window, so... Let's just move away for a moment. Okay, now that all of these guys are pulped... I think maybe we start from the top of the mall um, and use the fact that these zombies are not very good at climbing stairs. And then we work our way back down to the ground level. Um, the only problem being, obviously, if we want to make it back to our base... Oh, hello. It's a feral mechanic. Do you want to come through the... Wait, he's throwing a rock. Okay, that's fine. It could be worse. Drop your... Drop your bag, my friend. Yes, walk this, you absolute fool. Alright, he just fell. He took a tiny bit of damage. He's actually not too bad. But the important thing is, he's... He's throwing stuff up at me. What a lunatic. Alright, another feral human. This one we may have to go T to T with here. Right, drop the backpack. Come here, buddy. Prepare to feel the full force of a barbed wire bat. Oh, he didn't like that. Hit them for 40 in the leg. Stunned right now. Okay, that's fine. How does it feel to be absolutely deceased? Alright, what you got for me? Crowbar... nothing. Cotton balls. Worthless. Thanks for wasting my time. Alright. Come on. Drop our backpack again. Come here! Couple more zombies up here and I think we're... We're clear for the roof. Another feral mechanic. Does not see me yet. Alright, he's using a hammer. But you know what? We're going to deal with him next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying the Cataclysm series, please let me know. I'm glad we've finally made it to the mall. This has been a long time coming. Let's hope we can find some cool stuff in here. And maybe set up a little base. And you know I said if this character ever dies, we're going to be using this world again. So uh, we might want to make like a little stash somewhere. A little like cash for uh, a future future run. Anyway, my name has been Rograt. You've been watching Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.